This is the first ever persimmon, it's a Fuyu persimmon that we grew here in Gilbert, Arizona. This is the second week of October in 2022 and we just harvested this first ever persimmon from this small tree which is planted about six years ago back in uh, 2017. Uh, this is 2022 October so about five years or so. The tree was planted as a beru tree from Costco in the native soil and then all around the tree we created this microclimate by this mulberry bush and then pomegranate bush and it's tucked in in the south uh, north east corner so it gets almost full sun through the entire day but gets the sun in such a way that in peak summer it's filtered out through this mulberry and the pomegranate bush but it's in full sun on and off through the day and then there is this peach tree above it which shades it every now and then the key to grow fuyu persimmon here in arizona is planting it in the native soil it does not like to be planted in composted soil at all and it likes to be in the filtered sun through the entire day it won't do well if it's in uh, shade or partial shade even for half of the day it does like sun but it just doesn't like the uv rays of the arizona sun and then the other main thing is it takes about three to four years for the flowers to start converting into fruit and then for the last two years the flowers have been converting and then this year we got two fruits out of which we just harvested the first one this is the second one and we'll see how it grows over a period of time but it is possible to grow fuyu persimmon here in arizona as long as it's planted in the filtered sun for the entire day in native soil and then water and mulch it as if you would do for any bare root tree there you go so we're going to cut it now one thing to note is to know when to pick the ripe fruit so if you look at the stem you can see that it's bent at an angle that's when you know the fruit is ready to be picked this is true for most of the fruits which have kind of a stem connected to the fruit like fig um, persimmon or for that matter any other uh, uh, stone fruit as well and then when you feel it you can feel that it's giving a little bit so it's not totally overripe but it has some firmness to it with some soft feel to the skin so now we are going to cut it let's see how it looks it has to be orange from inside extremely juicy it's unbelievable that this can be grown in Arizona desert but looks like with lot of care and with a lot of knowledge and trial, you can grow persimmon in Arizona. So let's see. Yep, the texture is exactly what you would have from a persimmon that you would buy from a farmer's market or Costco. That's what we are used to. Now let's see. Should we taste it? Yes, it looks so good. You want to taste it? Hold on. Yes. So let's have our taste tester taste this. Pick a slice. Mm. It's really good. The inside is nice and soft, just how I remembered it. The outside is perfect. The flavor texture is spot on. It's really good, Pia. Yeah. Is it sweet? Yeah, the sweetness comes inside, yeah. Is yeah. it as sweet as a uh, store bought? Mm. Or less? Probably, I think it's more, a bit more sweeter. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Let's taste Let's it. Let's try it.
स्किन Mm. And there goes the last slice. Hopefully, the second one will also be as delicious as this one. So this is the second persimmon, and it is still pretty. It is actually not soft at all. It's pretty firm, but I'm going to cut it. And since this is a fuyu persimmon, you don't need to wait for it to soften to cut it. It's not going to be a sorbet or sorry, go. The color is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Let's try some. It's delicious. Oh my goodness! It's extremely sweet, and I think it's tasting even better than the first one. The first one had some saltiness to the skin. This does not have that. In fact, we just bought a, a bunch of these from the store, and it tastes. sweeter and more delicious than the uh persimmon that we have bought from the store that uh, that is uh, that we've been eating so this is delicious mm -hmm. 